Hi, it's the Dr. Bone Show. Back again, I've got my associate, Skelly Skeleton. I'd like to say hello to the audience there, Skelly. Hey, how are you? I'm Skelly Skeleton. This is the Dr. Bone Show. Today we're going to talk a little bit about forces and energy and rotational motion, all kinds of interesting stuff. Ah, yes, science. Science is kind of unusual. Sort of like a gumball machine. Put in a little effort, you might actually get something you're looking for. Oh, I guess that wasn't it. Or something even more interesting. Skelly, do you like uh, gumballs? Sure, I'll try one. Well, let's give him one here. There you go, Skelly. Oh, I guess he, he doesn't hold his gumballs. All right. So in any case, we'd like to start off with description of forces. We talked about Newton's laws in previous discussions. Newton's basic laws of motion, inertia. Force equals mass times acceleration will be useful in today's discussion, and also action-reaction. So forces. Forces we try to represent as a vector quantity, meaning it has a size or magnitude and a direction. It's going to be pointing in a particular direction. For example, we say that gravitational force points toward the center of the Earth. If I want to oppose gravity, I need a force that's directed against gravity. Okay, so for example, if gravity is moving this way, and I want to resist gravity, I have to move in the opposite direction. So forces have a size or magnitude and a direction. If you have just a magnitude, we call you a scalar. But if you've got magnitude and direction, you are a vector. So, interesting uses for forces all around the world. Here's a steel bar. Boy, it would take a tremendous force to bend this steel bar. Fact is, it's going to be a force we call a torque. It's a bending force. And we'll be talking a little bit about torque later. I wonder if I can bend this steel bar. Let's find out if I've got the string. You think I can do this? Show sure, Dr. Bones. Oh, here we go. Oh. Oh. oh, that was something else. I wonder if I can bend it back. I guess I can't get the sound effects. really tiring. So try to amuse your friends with one of those if you'd like. So we talked a little bit about momentum in a previous lecture. Momentum is mass times velocity. And if you've got a mass that's about the same size as the other mass and they collide, and of course this is called a force of collision, sort of like two boxing gloves coming together. Right Here we go. Okay, more skelly or myself. So forces will be directed toward the colliding partners, all right? Equal and opposite. Here we've got two approximately equal masses. And if I put them together, actually I'll move over here, bring them together in a collision, they pretty much move away at the same velocity, okay? Whereas if I change the mass of one of them, okay, so again, mass times the velocity, you're moving away at approximately the same velocity as they enter at the same velocity. What if I have a smaller mass and a larger mass? Let's see what would happen here. Probably the larger mass and the smaller mass coming in at the same velocity would collide and the smaller mass would move away at a faster velocity than the larger mass. Let's see what happens here. Oh, yes, sure enough. Whoa, way over there. Oh, my goodness. So that's right out of the picture. So the smaller mass moving away at a higher velocity. A couple of ping pong balls, about the same mass, moving at the same initial velocity. We call this an elastic collision. They move away at approximately the same exiting velocity. Okay, so there you go. Doesn't matter what the objects are, they can be sort of like, look like little sea urchins here. If they're about the same mass, moving at the same collision velocity, they move away at approximately the same velocity. Of course, they collide at different angles. Oops, there goes another one there. Let's try one more try. Okay, there you go. So mass times velocity is momentum, and the change in momentum is a force times the change in time. So here we go. You ready? Here's a larger mass. Here's a smaller mass. Probably going to be the same uh, result as before. Oh, it moves way at a much higher velocity. So, some interesting aspects of force. 
We'll be back to talk about energy and its connection to work, force through a displacement is work, and we'll be talking about potential energy and kinetic energy. So check it out. I'll see you later.